Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to y'all as the Big D. So now I bring to you my real final review of the Star Wars series. I just now got back from the theater from seeing it. The just now released Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now, unfortunately, I'm rather disappointed. This is been getting mixed response. This is a major disappointment, especially on the Rotten Tomatoes to Mayhem Mirror. Well, you critics better watch it, because the big D here is going to give this movie justice. Mark my words. Even though I've given movies that you this big time, that I think we're okay, like Dark Phoenix and Hellboy justice, but that was only for a reason. But this one is going to get definite justice, and this will be a spoiler-free review, so I'm going to try not to give too much of what what goes on. So, first of all, what did I think of the movie? Well, I'm going to say, just like the last couple of movies, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, I think it was epic, exciting, Intense, awesome, etc., etc., etc. Just like you could expect from any Star Wars movie. But <laughs> you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Now, now as for the cast, I absolutely did enjoy the performances we got. I think Daisy Ridley was probably the big one. Uh, playing Ray one last time. I know this was probably the most incredible performance I have seen of hers yet. Uh, let's see. Adam Driver, once again, did a great performance as Kylo Ren. And of course, we also got special cameos. Well, short but overall good performances from Mark Hamill and... Harrison Ford. Yeah. And even though Carrie Fisher is dead, they I I did like how they used unused footage from The Force Awakens to make her appear in this movie. So so in a way that was fairly decent enough. Now what's more is we got to see some f more familiar characters. We once again got Anthony Daniels back at C-3PO one last time. I heard he was retiring after he did that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Ian McDiarmid back again as Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, that was kind of the big surprise of this movie. But anyway, that was really good. And, of course... Billy D. Williams returning as Lando Calrissian. Yeah. He's still guy. He may be old, but he's still guy. Just like how he was good in doing the voice of Harvey Two-Face Dent in the Lego Batman movie a few years back. So anyway. I think... I think Rise of Skywalker definitely deserves a little more respect and what have you. Now, again, don't mind the critics, though. I think some of their... I've not read any of those, well, reviews. I've only seen a few, but don't mind what some say. I think some are just... They're just being ignorant or something like that. But, anyway, now for the story. I am going to say that this was... Pretty good. Now, I was rather shocked to see that the Emperor was somehow still alive and kicking. Because I thought he was killed off in the end of Return of the Jedi. But that wasn't the case. He was back. But I'm not going to spoil much of what he did. There is a connection between him and our main pretenders and other antagonists, but I will not, I'm not going to tell you that. That's spoiling it. But anyway, Palpatine's return is one of the only things I'm going to tell you about. Now then. 
Now, I did like the action scenes uh, and Ray flying Luke's X-Wing fire, which that was absolutely good. It was good to see uh, Lando and Chewbacca and controlling the Millennium Falcon once again. Yeah, and... But the battle between the Emperor and Rey was incredibly intense. Now, also, you just gotta be careful if you're watching, because I do know it's one of those movies that has some real bright flashes, and they didn't bother me much. I'm very careful around some bright, well, well, brightness most of the time, thank you very much. Oh yeah, John Williams, once again, did a great job on the score for the movie, just like he's done for any other Star Wars movie. Well, well, maybe not all of them. I do know he... You know, I, you know, I forgot. Oh, darn it, I'm sorry. But anyway, Williams did an exceptionally good job with the score. J.J. Abrams, back on board as director after he... Well, dropped out of directing The Last Jedi. But. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to get the right words to come out. I apologize for taking a little while. Boy, there was just too much in this movie to explain. The, the lightsaber battles. The, well, there was some. And. I'm going to say Ray kind of gets a shock when she has, like, well, powers of the Force instead of even the Force Lightning. Yeah, that's only one of her heads up I'm going to give you on. So I trust that doesn't factor count as a spoiler, but that's kind of a big surprise. And plus a lot, plus there's some other Force powers she has, or... Well, or, well, what might actually be considered force powers, where if it's, well, for the good side or the dark side. Nevertheless, I think it was real good. Now, I know I kind of have a few sad moments and what have you, but I am not going to spoil those either. You need to see the movie. And, let me think I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. This movie was totally mind blowing. It was, again, exciting. Oh yeah, I loved seeing. Uh. Oh yeah. Um. Some of the new characters were pretty good. Um. And some of the recent characters we saw. Uh, I just gotta say, we're all absolutely real good. Now, I can tell you one other thing. I think this is probably something I think critics aren't too drilled with was the pacing of this. This movie was kind of fast-paced, just like The Empire Strikes Back, I think. But I do know this was fast-paced, but... Well, I didn't mind it being fast-paced. It just made it more fun. In my opinion, anyway. But, only the saddest moments were kind of the slightly downsides. But not completely, a completely, completely downside. But, even so, I think Rise of Skywalker was definitely good. I absolutely did like the ending where we... See Ray and BB-8 on Tatooine. Well, visiting the, the old Skywalker place. But that's all I'm going to tell you about that. But I'm not going to tell you uh, the little surprise uh, you hear from Ray in the end. Again, you're going to have to see the movie. So, would I recommend Rise of Skywalker? You better believe it. You need to see us Again, don't mind what the critics say. Some of those critics are ignorant in ways. But, again, you don't have to take my word for it. You need to see The Rise of Skywalker. It's a great way to end 
the Skywalker saga, and and all I say is enough said. Now I will rank the Skywalker saga. I was going to re well rank them with the Star Wars anthology movies, but I'm trying to figure that out. So that ranking is kind of going to be on hold at the moment because I am going to redo some of my 2010 flicks rankings so I can do 2019 this year's. So, I hope you understand, okay? But if you have seen Rise of Skywalker, please tell me what you thought about it. Did you like it or did you not like it? I, I don't care if you don't like it. That's, that's your opinion, okay? Just tell me what you thought about it in the comment section, please. Like and subscribe to my channel and be a part of the Big D Nation. Anyway... I want to thank you guys for watching. Now, if you liked what you saw, you can check out my other Star Wars reviews. Um, you can check out my reviews of the recent ones. In that corner, you can see my review of The Force Awakens. And in that corner, you can see my review of The Last Jedi. But anyway, now I've made it through all the Star Wars movies from The Phantom Menace to A New Hope to... The Rise of Skywalker. Well, this is... So until next time, this is the Big D saying, See ya, and may the Force be with you.